Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome back to Make, Fix, Build. Put some vinyl on and didn't get it positioned quite right. When I pulled it up, it pulled up some of the wood on the plywood of my control panel for my arcade cabinet. Uh, so I need to go ahead and fix that. The way I'm going to do it is with wood glue. The motto for today is, if you want it done right, uh, try again. If I can prevent myself from accidentally getting any part of my body or clothing, in it for the next 24 hours, that would be great. Just like that, it's all dry. Magic of video. Now that it's all dry, I need to sand it down, make sure the surface is completely flat, free of imperfections as much as humanly possible, um, clean, and then attempt number two at applying vinyl. Feels pretty smooth. I'm happy. I've done a little bit of research, meaning I've watched a few YouTube videos of people applying vinyl. The two major takeaways I had was to heat the vinyl in order to wrap it around corners and to start applying it from the middle instead of on the edge. Middle out from both sides. That could be a reference to the Silicon Valley episodes about the middle out compression, but it's not. After that wood glue and the sanding, um, almost back to where I was last week, except for a small bit of extra knowledge. This is a leftover piece of the vinyl that I tried to use the first time. Um, I'm going to use this to practice a little bit before I commit my new piece of vinyl to the project. I'm going to practice with my scrap piece of vinyl on a scrap piece of wood. The hardest part is going to be getting around those corners. I'll see if I can do it with a little bit of heat and stretching it. Hopefully so. I think I've got two competing ideas. One is to wrap the vinyl part way around the front of the wood and then use a T-molding to finish off the edge. The other is to wrap the vinyl all the way underneath um, and then not use the T-molding. They're competing ideas because in order to wrap the vinyl underneath I gotta make sure I've got no sharp edges, sharp corners. I think the only way to stretch it around these edges and corners is if I round them off. But if I round them off, I can't use the T-molding anymore. And so I didn't want to completely round off the edge, these edges, because I wanted to use the T-molding. But if I want to get this to go around corners and edges really well without ripping, I might have to uh, round that edge. Hmm. Dilemma. With cars, you can kind of see them work on the vinyl, pull it up, put it down, stretch it. You can kind of work on it a little. Um, when you're doing that on wood, though, you can't do it because it pulls up parts of the wood. Um, yeah, you can't stick it back down. It's not like a nice smooth surface of the car. So I've learned a lot of ways not to apply vinyl. If I cut it, which I originally was hoping to not cut it, if I cut it, uh, it's not too bad. That edge isn't too bad. This is also the vinyl I've been working with, the same piece, and so I've, I've kind of been working with it quite a bit. Um, I wonder if a fresh piece might work even better if I set out to cut it from the beginning. This one I cut just at, right at an angle. Instead of a 90 degree angle, kind of a 45 degree angle. Um, Forty-five compared to one of the edges, I guess. That wouldn't be forty-five. What angle is that? Uh, well, one hundred and eighty minus one hundred and eighty minus forty would be one hundred and forty. So one hundred thirty-five. So uh, one hundred and probably about one hundred thirty-five degree angle. Maybe one hundred thirty-five degree angle off of this corner. Boop, boop. And never. Mind. I'll just show you.
underneath I'm going to try just cutting it like this. It's like wrapping a Christmas present. This is probably not the right way to do it, but it looks pretty good, so maybe it is. All right, I've played around with it enough. I think it's time to try my hand at applying the sheet of vinyl to the control panel again. The new piece of vinyl that I got actually has a pattern on it. It's a carbon fiber pattern. It's like this navy carbon fiber vinyl. Hopefully it'll work out. About to be in debt to the vinyl gods. In my last video, I was, I tried applying the vinyl while on the floor. Um, and there's just hair and dirt and dust and stuff on the floor. So I'm bringing it up off of that to try to avoid it as much as possible. I guess I could vacuum my floor. I think I may be getting the hang of this, so I'm going to do a close-up shot of exactly how I'm doing one of the corners. See how it goes, but I may be getting the hang of this. That took a little bit longer than I expected, but I'm pretty happy with the result. I think it looks good. We'll have to see how it holds up to wear and tear. But overall, hmm, this might work out. Getting closer. One step closer. This is Dan, and I say go out there and fix something, especially if it's something you broke. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, click the subscribe button. Let's see on a sharp corner there. Must be that time of day, everybody. Spam calling. Robocall time. Ooh, well, no, I'll get him. He's going to sit down for dinner pretty soon. He's going to be at home. I'm making a YouTube video.